Yeah. It's so cool to be right here underneath the Bates Motel sign. Wow. Over here, we got Ben. He, um... Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Today we are at Universal Studios Hollywood to check out some HHN updates, watch a brand new show, and even experience the studio tour's 60th anniversary celebration. So come along with us, let's go check out some updates around the park. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss videos like the one that you're about to watch right now. Oh yeah, the 60th studio tour anniversary banners are all over the place and tons of different iconic scenes and, and vintage photos from the past. A little blast from the past today. So I'm excited to go get on the studio tour. We're headed to the studio tour first to get there before it gets too crowded so we can get plenty of photo ops and everything. And then after we're gonna kind of track some HHN construction, we can actually see some HHN construction on the tram while experiencing the Glamour Tram experience. Of course, we're greeted by these amazing banners with tons and tons of hidden Easter eggs all over them. I mean, they even have like uh, Gilman popping out from where they filmed it. They have Jaws, they have uh, the different tombs from the past, like the mummy tomb at the very end of this, which is now replaced by Fast and Furious Supercharge. Just lots of different Easter eggs from the studio tour's past. We've now boarded our tram, ready to experience the studio tour. No glamour tram though. I think that they're all electrical trams right now. Here's our first look at some Halloween Horror Nights construction of the day. The area located right behind the soundstage house. Uh, it's kind of like a flat facade right now, or I guess it's not flat anymore, but it's just, it's a rectangle. That's the best way I can describe it. A rectangle facade. This is where Holidays in Hell was last year so curious to see what this is going to be unfortunately it looks like we are going to be skipping uh both the doc brown area uh where he's has his delorean out there bypasses not knock them down you've seen this location a few other things before though an episode of community in season two called paradigms of a human memory a key and peel sketch called boarding a plane it shouldn't be this hard you've also seen it in a Nicki minaj music video called fly starring rihanna the airplane crash site set is a perfect example of a set that is all designed around a vision. It's so cool to be right here underneath the Bates Motel sign. Wow. We got this awesome, awesome replica of the Glamour Tram right here. This looks incredible. I love this a lot. Like, I love how vibrant and like retro it feels. Oh, look, at both of these seats are facing each other in the back. Yeah, like there's the Bates Motel again right up there. This feels uh, very weird because usually the only time we're able to go down here is during Horror Nights and we're not even able to go this far. We have to follow within the fences and everything, but so we're not able to come up close to the Bates Motel sign like this. So it's pretty awesome. I'm going to start playing the uh, Fast and Furious song. But yeah, I'm about to get a photo right here. Hello, kind sir. Are you Yeah, of course I am. Oh, okay, right on. I'll stay out here though. Of course, the Fast and Furious cars. Oh, they do have vending machines over to the left here with water if you need water. And then we have the last one right over here, the original Jaws photo opportunity that used to be up in the upper lot. However, it was taken out for Springfield, I believe it is, and some of Wizarding World. So it's been removed, but now we can take a photo right here with the original photo op. Oh, they're even playing the music right now. Look at him. Look at him there, all, all scary. You can even stick your head inside and pretend like he's eating you. But yeah, I love this photo op. Probably one of my favorites. Although, I don't know. The Psycho one with the house in the back is pretty cool, too. As we make our way out of the best attraction ever, Fast and Furious, uh, we see two now. Last time we were here, we only saw one. Now we see two HHN tents going up. And uh, one of them, I was able to kind of catch a glimpse at. Like I said, it's, it's really hard to get. But people are comparing this facade to the 
Nightmare on Elm Street house, which I gotta say, it does resemble it pretty clearly. But we'll see if the Nightmare on Elm Street rumor is true. Uh, right now, it's obviously still in the early phases of facade work and everything. However, it is a good sign, nonetheless, that we're seeing some resemblance to something because some of these facades and different haunted houses are really hard to tell what exactly they are. And there is another photo opportunity over here. This has since been changed uh, for the big anniversary for this giant studio tour pop-up where you can pretend like you're in the very front of the Glamour Tram with, of course, some amazing uh, backdrop, more Easter eggs from the back lot right behind you. Nonetheless though, we still had a great time on this experience. Now we're gonna try to make our way all the way up to the upper lot and go see the brand new Fall Guy pre-show as well as Waterworld. Actually, before we go over to the Waterworld show, since I have a little bit of time, I'm gonna go uh, look at HHN construction and some more Fast and Furious coaster construction just from the little overview down the escalators. Oh, there it is right there. There's definitely been a lot more added since the last time we visited. I think the last time we visited, it was literally just like the one piece of plywood up. Now they've put one on the left-hand side. They put some form of like triangle shape on the right-hand side. And obviously there's active construction going on with it. You look a little bit closer though. Kind of like a window, if you will, that he's currently hammering right now. Will there be like some form of character in there? Or it'll be something like Last of Us last year where they had like actual entertainment i guess you could say or character interaction on the outside of the facade i mean they did that with a couple like monstros too they obviously had them worth it outside of that yeah this facade looks pretty interesting so far i'll be excited to see exactly how it forms and how it starts to kind of receive more framing and then we'll kind of be able to guess a little bit more on exactly what it is and exactly what's going here but i haven't heard anything quite yet nor do i know what this is. But yeah, I mean, soon I'm sure we'll get some announcement, uh, whether it be like a little tease or tease from Murdy that is or like an announcement from Universal because we are in we're coming up on April we're at the end of, or we're coming up on May I should say we're at the end of April so I would assume soon come coming soon if we look right behind us though um, there's really not a whole lot that has changed since our last Fast and Furious coaster update here everything looks kind of relatively the same I would say uh, the dirt being poured all over the place then pouring uh, more stuff to prepare for a different footers and whatnot they're digging up dirt all down here obviously is it's just dirt work right now there's definitely like tons of fall guy posters all over the place as you can see marketing the movie and then of course marketing the uh, pre-show for Waterworld, which we're about to go watch right now but yeah tons of the, the marketing for this movie has been insane like kind of jealous that uh, rob had to attend the media event for me but ryan gosling was here during that media event it was incredible. All right, we got our seats here for Waterworld and the Fall Guy pre-show, which if you're wanting to experience the Fall Guy pre-show, you literally just come uh, during any any showtime of Waterworld at all. So uh, this is gonna be a 40 minute show with 15 minutes of it, or 10, 15 minutes of it being the Fall Guy stuff. And then it's Waterworld right after. You don't need to like get here early or anything, just at the exact show times that Waterworld is posted for. And of course, even though it is hot outside, I got the nice camera out today. So I'm away from the soak zone or the wet zone. I'm here in a nice dry silver seat. Filming the final dress rehearsal for the Fall Guy Live, Stuntacular. Who wants to see some awesome stunts? Anyone? All right, me too. Wait a minute. What? Where's the rest of my crew? Where is everybody? <laughs> About that, sir. Uh, they all left. They said you were a tyrant and they don't want to work with you. I'm a tyrant? Mm -hmm. They're all fired. Okay? Don't go until I say action. Okay, got it? Here we go. Sorry, buddy. Ready? Ready? Engage your car! Action! 
And now that the Fall Guy stunt tacular is over there getting prepared for Waterworld, it's a pretty quick turnaround. They're going to do their normal pre show here for Waterworld and then get the actual show started. So you get a uh, little two for one special when watching Waterworld uh, through May 19th. Over here, we got Ben. He, um. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Well, he works here. <laughs> you know, he does what he can. Hey, Ben. Ben, I saw you trying to show that guy about the green seats, but did you just show the rest of them about the green seats? Can you really make sure that they know what's going on? Because I just like, yeah, all right, cool, the one guy, that works, that works. Keep a lookout. Helen. Sage. Come help me. Yeah, here, bring it in. It is good to see you alive. Where have you been? Feast your eyes on this. Unexpected. Bring me the girl, please. Right over here. Hold up! And there we have it. That was the Fall Guy Stuntacular mixed with Waterworld. Fall Guy comes out in theaters on May 3rd and uh, features Emily Blunt and Ryan Gosling. Or as most of us know him, Ken from Barbie. <laughs> I always love watching Waterworld and the Fall Guys Tentacular is a good add to it too as well. Uh, through May 19th, like I said. But now to cap off our day, we're gonna go check out some more Fast and Furious stuff. And they just put up an HHN tent in the Parisian courtyard. So I wanna see if there's any plywood that we can see from there as well. Also, I guess my prediction about something being in the middle of the Universal Plaza for the 60th anniversary was wrong because why would they do something here? After all, they have that replica Glamour Tram down there by the Bates Motel, which I originally said, you know, they could probably put something up right here like Glamour Tram related, but nonetheless, they have it all downstairs. So if you wanted a, a big photo opportunity with the crane, you can have that. It looks like they're moving something right now, actually. Oh uh, yeah, there it is right there. The Parisian Courtyard. Whatever this Halloween Horror Nights house will be. I'm sure we'll start to see the facade pop up very, very soon. Um, no like plywood that I can see from standing far back. Right now it's kind of just a big construction wall with the tent, but they did put the construction walls up and for a while the tent wasn't there. Uh, the tent is new to me, like as of like today that I've seen it. So that's uh, refreshing to see. Imagine Universal just pulled a trick on all of us and they're like, you know what? No, we're gonna do like a, a little mini facade. Nobody can see it. And it's just literally as tall as the construction walls. That's a joke, but I mean, wouldn't that be funny if we couldn't see anything and all of us uh, Universal theme park updaters are like, oh no, well, how are we ever going to guess what's there? <laughs> but right out here over in French Street where typically the exit is for these different haunted houses, all you can see right now is the green little barricades. No vertical construction behind I can see. However, like I said, they could have the layout done in there uh, on as far as the plywood goes on the floor. We now shift our attention to coaster construction where up here on the observation deck, like I said, you can see a lot more. Uh, looks like they're definitely uh, moving further along with the footers and everything. They have these colored boxes on top. And like I say in every video, I'm not a roller coaster expert, so please do not hate on me if I'm wrong with the different stuff that I'm saying, but uh, they're definitely making lots of progress as far as preparations to put supports up and everything. And actually way off in the distance you can see some like structure that they're building. I'm not too sure what the structure is for. It's just a bunch of steel all over the place. Um, is this like uh, a part of the building? Is it something that goes on top of the station? A part of the queue? What is it? If you guys know what that is, let me know down below in the comment section because I have no idea what that's for. That little steel structure over there. Very interesting. Nonetheless, uh, lots and lots of work going on on the other side as well though. Still just the uh, supports that we've been seeing the past couple weeks have been coming over here and of course the, uh, the track up on top of the station as well. The city snack shop is now open up over here where you can get different theme like uh, anniversary type of treats and everything. You can get a 60th uh, shaped pretzel. I took a little picture of the menu uh, here at the city snack shop. So there's some celebratory donuts like I was talking about. 
There's the banana breath popcorn because of the banana breath that you could smell from the old King Kong attraction. Just tons of different stuff that you can get. And also, there's the Woody Woodpecker popcorn bucket, which you can get at different locations, which is deemed the Glam Tram popcorn bucket. And, of course, the uh, Souvenir Sipper, which is also themed to the 60th. I was looking for this last time, and now it's here. The uh, button up filled with different uh, Glamour Tram stuff and just vintage Universal stuff. You got the old Universal City sign there, some different old logos and whatnot. And I really like the color scheme, kind of like that reddish with the cream. I like it a lot. That's just like the whole whole line. And we did film all of the different merch and stuff like that at the end of our last Universal update. So if you wanna check that out, make sure to go to our channel to check that out as well. But everyone, that's gonna wrap it up for today's uh, updates around the park here at Universal Studios Hollywood. If you did enjoy this video, please uh, leave it a like down below and subscribe with those bell notifications on. Uh, lots of fun stuff happening around here. I can't wait until like the 60th celebration is like all said and done with everything that's going on and everything. But I really hope everyone gets to experience all the different attractions as a part, or mini attractions as a part of the studio tour very soon. And I can't wait for the rest of the Horror Nights uh, construction to start to ramp up and everything. So like I said, if you're new here, subscribe with those bell notifications on. My name is Scott. You've been watching Exploring Attractions. Positivity is key. And most importantly, remember to keep exploring. Peace out, everybody.